Um, we're back at the desk today, and it's a bright and early 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to try to get this done by 7 so that you guys don't have to sit here all day. By 7, I mean part 1 and part 2. So <laughs> let's get going. This is one of going to be one of my favorite days because I've been looking forward to trying my hand at an Imperial Walker or an ATA Walker. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Since this is Hoth week, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to give that one a go. So let's go ahead. We do in our page here. Let's go ahead and look at our reference photo. <coughs> So I just looked up a, a wallpaper here. All right, so this is a more, um, looks more like a graphic design or one from a show, a 3D show, but it was difficult to get a high definition one from the actual movies. So this is gonna give us all the details we need to draw it and then we can make it as nitty gritty as we want to. So, He's coming at, um, this is a very strange angle. <laughs> it's not exactly straight on. He's barely turned a little bit, but you can see, I can move my picture out of the way. His body is somewhat of a rectangle here. Make like a box on that. So we can start out with a regular rectangle like we have in the past. Probably just going down to there. And from there we can add on the legs and the head. One thing um, for this piece that I want to emphasize is measurements. So we want to make sure we get the proportions right so that his legs don't look too long or they don't look too short if we want it to look exactly like this piece. So what I usually do when it comes to those types of things is I measure the head, okay? Um, this is an animal body. I haven't drawn animal bodies in any of my classes before with you guys, but let's go ahead and try it out. So what I usually do first is I circle the head here, okay? And then, so this is my head. So how many heads wide is this character and how many heads tall? is this character. So I have this rectangle box. So see it's about right here. So I have this little rectangle box. If I were to move that box, so we have one, two, about right there. I would say he's about two and a half heads wide. I'm gonna write that on my paper. Two and a half heads wide. Now let's go down. I'm gonna go back here, going down one. So we've got one, two, and that comes down to the first knee there. You see that? That helps us know. One, two, three. And a half. So he's two and a half heads wide and about three and a half heads tall. So let's get my drawer here. So we said one, two, three and a half. One, two, three. And the other one went to about here. One, two, and you know, a little past a half, but you know, we're close to it. All right, so that helps us just get the proportions right. And I'll show you how to draw this. But I want you to see as we block all of this in, what this is gonna look like. So let's look at this. If we make our square down in this corner here and pull it up, we have a nice square. Do you see that? See that square? Actually, I'm gonna make it flush with the head here. Okay, so you see the square. 
um, if you can't see the square, I'll draw it here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. Let me make it red. So the square is coming from that first box all the way down to here, across. Then we're coming up. And then we're going to cut through the body here to the head. OK. And the top part of the body, that's not going to be a difficult part. But let's cut this here. So coming down, coming down. OK. So we've got this broken into almost a three by three box like three by three and a half. So that's how we're gonna start this drawing, okay? Um, let me get my ruler here. So now I just need to decide, based on the size of my paper, how I'm gonna align this. So let's go to the paper. I think what I might do, since inches, mm, inches, let me see about an inch. <clears throat> so I guess I'll do inches. Might be a little small. One, two, three and a half. <laughs> if I do inches, it will be super small. So maybe I'll do two inches a piece. Two. Yeah, okay. So every little box for me is gonna be two inches. All right, so I'm gonna show you this. So two inches going this way, and then this way, it's a little bit longer. So if I were to measure it straight on my computer screen, I've got an inch by uh, almost two inches. So if I made this two inches, then this one is going to have to be A half more. So if this one is two inches, then this one's going to have to have half more. So we're doubling it. So one and a half double of that is three. So I'm going to go ahead and roughly just put three. Okay, two by three squares. So we've got one, two, three. So that's going to be, guys, I'm horrible at math this morning. Three times three is nine. Okay. So I might have to do it landscape mode. So this whole side will make nine inches and this whole side two, four, six. Go ahead and just put eight inches and then we'll chop that bottom part down there. Two, four, six. Yeah. Seven, we'll make it seven, two, four, six, seven. Okay, let's do it. So let's stop this share. I'm gonna pin. Let's pin. Get her out of the way. All right, let's do this thing. So I was going to do it landscape, but this isn't going to go across nine inches. So I'm going to have to do it here. First, let me make sure I've got a good seven inches here. So long ways. I'm going to do seven inches. Mark those edges. It's my first seven inches. Okay, and then we'll come over. Okay, so that's nine inches is actually a little further. So I'm going to come in a little bit. You guys can feel free to just do it regular one by one and a half inches, but I'm being ambitious here. And sometimes it's easier to draw bigger than smaller. Okay. Coming down to the bottom, let's do another nine. All right, get that even. 
doesn't have to be a perfect box. Okay, so then I'm going to move this line here over to the edge. So, a nice little box here. Since it's not exactly nine inches, I'm going to bring it in just a little bit here. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference in the long run. It's still going to look awesome. But I'm going to chop off about a quarter inch here for precision. <laughs> this isn't going to be that precise. OK, here we go. So we have our nice clean box, okay? Um, looking down in the camera, <laughs> it's probably not exactly a square and you guys can see it tilting in. That's not actually how it is. It's just the way my camera is. So now I'm going to make the, the grid. So we're gonna do a grid method on this one. I haven't done that. Well, we kind of have done grids, just not official grids. So I've got two, four, six, and then the other seven. Come over here and mark those two, four, six, two, four, six. Okay. Then along the top and bottom, we're going to do three. So I've got three, six, and then we're cut into the nine a little bit down here. Three, six, and we are cut in on the nine. Okay. So this is our big old box. This is based on the reference photo that I have chosen. If you choose to pick a different reference photo, obviously your measurements are going to be different. You have to do each individual photo on its own, depending on the angle that it's at is what measurements you're going to have. It may or may not be common sense, but you cannot use the same measurements for every picture, or I would not do this every time. I would just memorize them. And <laughs> that's not the way it works in drawing. All right, so we have our grid. This I've this is going to be a full page drawing. <laughs> so let me go ahead, pull up my reference photo. You guys can pull up yours and let's get started. Sorry if I was split. Now we should just have the one. All right, so again, grid, three, three, two and three quarters, about two, 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 and then we've got a half or roughly one. Um, it's not perfect, obviously, <laughs> that's okay. I'm okay with that. If I was doing this for somebody, I'd probably would fix that. But as of right now, I think it's going to be good for practice. Going back to the reference photo. So the first thing we want to do, if you've got your photo marked up, let's go ahead and do the head here. So. I'm actually gonna mark mine up again because my marks went away. Give me just a moment. While I make my box. Okay, you all can't see this, but my box went away, so I have to redraw it. There we go. Okay. 
So our first one is our head. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then down the center of the body. All right, I'm gonna start with the head just because I know where it's at. That is what we measured everything else by. So that is what I am gonna start with. Okay, so using my grid, the first part, we've got kind of angle down here. So this grid should mimic the grid that we made. If you guys are printing these out, it might be a lot easier to follow the grid. If you're not using your computer like me, do the best you can. So he's gonna actually go, mine is probably going to go off the page as far as the top part because I made him rather large, but I didn't wanna do too many half inches because that's a lot of math and this isn't a math class particularly, and I don't want to hurt anyone who is not exactly there when it comes to math yet. So we'll just do, this is a pretty big head, but <laughs> it'll fit. The angle that this ATAT -AT is at Fits. So this is a very interesting shape that we've got going here. I'm just looking at lines, guys, circles and lines, circles and lines. Remember what I say? <laughs> circles and lines, babe, circles and lines. We're doing the same thing. I'm looking at the lines. It might be helpful to trace the line on the paper if you need help I'm trying to figure out where exactly those lines are. There's nothing wrong with that. I just did it two seconds ago. I was right. Doing lots of sketchy type lines. There's going to be a lot of drawing and redrawing, just like with all of the rest. Slow it down and watch if you need to. Interesting shape, huh? my ruler here so I can remember to not push you guys off the camera. Okay. I'm thinking, sorry I'm being so quiet. I'm looking at my drawing so far and I'm thinking about what needs to be done before I move on. Looking at it and looking at the picture. 
Okay. So half circle under here. sticking out right here, coming out behind this piece. I draw a trapezoid to save my life this morning. Brief. Shapes, guys. Shapes. They'll get you. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. There we go. Just adding details as I go. That's why I'm detailing right now. And when we shade, you'll be able to see them more individualized, but right now we're just trying to put them in. Okay, there we go. Now it looks like a mess, but we'll clean it up when we do the shading. Okay. Now, coming to the eye here. So, about if you cut this in half, this half is going to have that circular eye piece. So I'm very lightly going to sketch in a circle here. A little line that connects down. Before I darken that circle, I'm going to draw the turret that's on here. A lot of these guns that are on these ships are shaped very similar. I draw a line first because I didn't make that the right angle. Let's try that again. I'm gonna go along this line that I just drew. There we go. One little gun. I want to erase that because that's going to be nice and light. As I mentioned before, a lot of this stuff gets fixed during the shading process. There's another gun right above it. It's just real small and it's actually going to connect. It's going to go back a little bit here. And it kind of roll around. Back here, we're coming down. Okay, so we've got this casing on this here. Now I'm just adding details. That's really all this head part is, is details, shapes, things like that. Okay. And of course, 
course. Can't really see those shapes right now until later. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and draw in that circle around those guns. It's gonna come all the way down. That's a shadow in there. Don't worry about that later. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's got these, you know, like these eyelash type things coming on here. It's so strange. I've never designed this. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Sometimes you don't actually see these things until you draw them and you're like, who came up with this? Like, this is like an imperial walker. I don't know. I, I don't know the background behind this, but it's just so funny sometimes when you see how these things are made. Got some stuff sticking up outside the box here. And that's it. All right. Turtle head is done. I'm good with that. So. We're gonna connect this guy to the body. So the top of the body is gonna connect with the top. It's not gonna connect, but it's gonna be the same distance as our topmost point here. It's actually going to slice through. I mean, don't actually draw a line through it, but we're coming down behind that point there. So coming down behind that point, and we're going to come right here to this line, okay? Then we're gonna come, come in, make our second point. We're doing a rhombus. You guys know what a rhombus is? a rectangle that has been tilted. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and erase these lines on the inside of both of these pieces. We are done with them. We're not gonna be adding any more over here as far as new shapes. So I'm gonna just erase those, erase my numbers. Okay. If you see any more details, you can place them in or just wait till the shading. There's all kinds of stuff on here we could do. <laughs> okay. So we've got our box here. Just gonna draw right along inside of that. Okay, so these are not connected. Now is the time for us to connect these together. So you see where I drew this little thing right here? Well, that's where we're gonna connect it, about right there. And then it's gonna connect right underneath this corner, right about around the bouts there. So let's draw an oval where they're connecting and just go around that oval and then erase the oval. <laughs> This gives us a nice, clean nectar shape there. Okay. Drawing the design here.
accordion like thing. Okay. Some dark rectangles on the inside here. And that's good for that. All right, so now what I want to do is start building, building that body, looking at my square, right, or my rectangle. Where do these lines fall inside of this rectangle? So that is something you need to, the more you eye these things, the more you're able to do it in the future. So you could measure it if you want to, um, or you could eye it. When I was in college, we drew tables. Yes, tables over and over and over again. Why did we draw tables? Because we were learning to eye the angles. He would take a rectangular table and he would, we would draw it for like five to 10 minutes and then he would change it. And we'd have to draw it again and he would turn it. We'd have to draw it again. And I would use my ruler all the time. And eventually he came over and he took my ruler away and he said, try it again. And I had to learn how to do it without my ruler, which was uncomfortable for me because I'm a perfectionist and I do like things to be precise but he wanted me to be a little more free to be, because if you, you can't always carry a ruler with you. If you do, it's, you know, it's, it's cumbersome, especially if you're trying to sketch. Like if you're sitting out in public, you know, sometimes it's difficult to pull, <laughs> pull out a ruler. So he didn't want me to have that holding me back, I guess I'm trying to say. So I had to learn where things fell in relation to other things. So I'm gonna turn my page here because it makes me draw a straighter line. See how I'm just blocking these in? Not too many details right now. Just trying to get proportions set here making sure they're exactly how I want them. Which if you guys remember from our last video, they weren't exactly set. So you can fix mistakes, but the more detailed that something is, the more tedious it becomes to fix those mistakes. Sometimes you just have to start over. I'm not one to give up that easily because <laughs> that means I have to completely re-record another video and call me lazy, but I don't want to do that every time I mess up. But I also want you guys to see even people who do this all the time aren't perfect. See, I just drew like 600 lines because one of them was wrong. But I like to get it right. That's something my high school teacher taught me is keep messing with that line until you get it exactly how you want. And then erase those other lines. Yay, that is exactly how I want it. Look at that, isn't that awesome? All right, let me erase some lines here. Let me get my big eraser because I'm wearing down my little one. Shade in my throat. All right. You know, when I first did this, it looked like the head was going to be like super big. It's really not. When you draw the rest of the body, it makes sense. <laughs> so, this is what I've got so far. We've got the first half. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to save the details for the shading part since we've already gone. 42 minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and sketch in those legs and we'll be done. I definitely don't want to go over an hour. 
Okay, so going back to the reference. Okay, so the under part, we've got the, um, this first leg is gonna be right inside. So this, these circles are very, are almost the same size as this eye. So that's how I'm going to compare it. So I'm gonna make a circle here. I need to draw in my other two inch, which is gonna be right above, right above that kneecap. And then my other two inch, Gonna be right at the, the ankle part. Okay, so I've got my first circle here. This one is coming down to about there. So if you guys have taken my other classes, you know about drawing the skeleton of something. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna draw the skeleton of this. So, what I mean by that is before I draw the legs, I'm gonna make sure I get the circles exactly where I want them and just connect them with a line. Okay, so then the foot is going to be coming out on this side a little bit, just with a basic shape. I'm gonna connect down to the ankle and this is coming right in the middle of that ankle. Okay. Next circle we've got over here behind this booty. It's not an exact circle here. It's more of an oval, but it's also a little smaller. The next one, I'm looking at the squares right now. Where is it on this square? So those are connected. It's gonna come down. This leg is straight, so it's gonna come down to that ankle, which is in turn going to come down to that foot. Okay, now let's do the back ones. So over here, we've got I'm just gonna draw very lightly the circle coming behind so I can get the circle here. And it's coming, the circle's almost right next to the circle, a little bit smaller. It's gonna be parallel with that one, but then it's gonna come back. So you've got it sticking out behind this one. So we're coming back like that. You don't even really see the angle. Then the next one over here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line parallel to this coming out from this circle and coming around to this one. So I know this circle is about about right here. So the only part you're gonna see is this, this dip part here. So, <coughs> excuse me. We're gonna come even with this one. It's gonna be right on the line here. Again, a little bit smaller. And then this foot is Actually made this one down a little bit too far. I can see that they need to be more, more in the background. And this one is about um, 
right on the crux here. So I need to move my circle over a little bit because this leg is pretty straight on. So here's my line. And then it comes down into the little foot. So I'm gonna move this circle over just a little bit. Okay, legs, 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 legs. All right, how much time do we have? Oh, we got 10 minutes, okay. Now, sharpen the pencil. Let's beef this up. So that means we're gonna add muscles adding muscles. When you're doing a person, you do a person a very similar way. You do the joints, and then we've got the bones, which are the lines. Now we're gonna add the muscles. So I'm gonna start by defining these circles a little bit more. Cleaning them up a bit. You guys hear my birds outside? <laughs> the birds and the squirrels have been quite loud lately. It's that time of year. Everybody's Twitter painted, flying around like crazy, doing crazy things. Okay, that's really all shaded in there, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, leave that back circle alone. Just following the reference photo with these details. I'm a little quieter this morning. You guys might prefer that. You might mute me. <laughs> I talk a lot. I feel like I need to talk a lot, but right now we're like I said, just adding structures. There's not too much to say. I'll just sit here and enjoy the silence. Good time to play some music while you're doing this.
those ones here. Be the longest video yet. I think what we might do this bad boy. We'll finish this leg and then we'll finish the rest of these during the shading one. Okay. This is just a really big project. A little bigger than I anticipated. Might also be because I made it a little bigger. I'm going to come through very lightly here. It's not actually going to be over, but that's just so I can get the angle right here for the next foot.
I think that's what we're gonna do. We're going to go ahead and take a break. I've done enough intense <laughs> drawing exercise on this one to satisfy us for a week, I think. And guys, I know some of you have, I don't know if you're feeling bad if you're not able to keep up or what all, but just know that uh, it takes a lot of time to do things like these. So if you've got to pick and choose, please pick and choose. Don't feel like you have to draw every single one of these. I just wanted to reward those of you who've taken my other classes and, and give you a whole lot of content that you can mess with in this class. So please do not feel obligated to draw every single uh, vehicle. Um, um, I did go ahead. When you first sign up for the class, you'll see the breakdown of of what we're going to be drawing, go ahead and choose what one vehicle do you want to draw this week, okay? And do that. All right, well, I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll finish this guy up.